This is the ultimate camera comparison video of Samsung Galaxy A55 versus Samsung Galaxy S22. Will you buy the older flagship or the newest mid-range? Let the battle begin. Today is a really good fight between the latest mid-range phone which is Galaxy A55 and the older Galaxy S22 which is of the same value. Of course you will buy Galaxy A55 brand new and the older S22 secondhand on used market. Today we're shooting both indoors and outdoors. We're shooting nature like the mountains, sky and trees. We're also shooting indoors like flowers, crowd and random colorful things. Both phones have triple camera setup so we will be able to test the ultra wide main sensor, telephoto and macro and even the selfie camera. Let's start with color profile and saturation and right off the bat, you will notice that the latest Galaxy A55 is brighter than Galaxy S22 but for some reason it crashes the shadows looking at the darker areas. It has a cooler white balance than the older flagship, I guess most of the time but not all but in general it has a natural looking tone compared to the competition and it also smoothened the surface, you would notice this on the fabrics and the surface of the flowers. I were surprised by the 2 times digital crop and even with my previous comparisons, it does have a 50 megapixel main shooter but it crops the image from the high resolution sensor but still maintains the sharpness and details on the image. On the image with strong light source like lights or windows, you will notice that it lost the highlights a little bit but the good thing about this on the portrait mode, it looks similar to Galaxy S22 but we will talk about this more later. While the older Galaxy S22 is the opposite of Galaxy A55, I should say that the older flagship still has the punch on the image quality, it has darker and better contrast compared to Galaxy A55. And like the opposite of the latest mid-range, S22 exposes the shadows better, you would see this on the ceiling or darker areas of the image. The image especially on close-up has more details than A55 and generally has a warmer white balance compared to the competition, especially outdoors, you would notice this on the floors. The colors are more vivid and saturated than Galaxy A55. If you look on purple, green, blue, and orange, it is a trifecta of ultra-wide main sensor and 3 times optical zoom. And if you zoom into the image, you will notice that it's a farther reach than Galaxy A55. The 30 times digital zoom is a little bit soft, but at least you have it if you need it. It manages the highlights better if you look on the images on the arcades. And if you look on the lights, it doesn't blow up the highlights. I think overall you would like any of these two phones in terms of image quality but if you look at it on a blind test you'll probably feel that they are coming from the same Samsung phone. And looking at all sensors from the ultra wide, main and even the crop, colors are consistent. Again, S22 has a farther reach which is nice than Galaxy A55. This is the latest Galaxy A55 in 4K 30fps. Sadly like the competition, the Galaxy S22, this can only shoot 4K. Samsung mid-range will not be given 8K video recording, but the quality of the video is really good. What I like about this phone is the camera performance and the battery life. I think they're pretty solid, but I think the waterloo of this phone is the performance. It's not as fluid as the flagship competition. We also have the dual video recording on Samsung Galaxy A55, which you can see front and back. This is also present on the flagship competition. Let's talk about portrait mode and if you're looking on a smartphone screen, you will hard notice the difference just like coming from the same phone but obviously there are differences if you're looking on a bigger screen. To begin with, Galaxy A55 has a creamier background blur. It's not as natural looking as the ones you can see on the flagship competition but it's more flattering considering it feels like coming from a more expensive cameras because of the out of focus. You would also notice that there's more information and details on my face and as you look at the background, you would see that there's a lot of bokeh balls on Galaxy A55 and there's none on S22, maybe sometimes but not a lot. While Galaxy S22 has a smoother and whiter complexion, I think overall the images coming from S22 is punchier than Galaxy A55 but again, the face are more flattering because S22 smoothens the face in auto mode. And you will also have a gradual blur which makes it feel like coming from a proper camera. The cutout or subject separation is also better on this phone. Not perfect, on some shots there will be a miss here and there, but I noticed that it's more inconsistent on Galaxy A55. You also have two focal lengths from 24mm to 85mm shot as opposed to only one focal length on the newer mid-range. And going for the selfie, the skin is smoother on Galaxy A55 and there's a little bit of noise on darker shade while Galaxy S22 has more details on my face and it is also better exposed than Galaxy A55. And looking at night shots, it's a little bit odd since flagship phones should have better low light performance than mid-range but on this situation, I feel like Galaxy A55 is better than S22. 
Starting with the white balance, you have a cooler tone on Galaxy A55 where you have a warmer white balance on the older flagship. If you have more complex photos, you would notice that Galaxy A55 tends to crush the shadows a little bit like the newer Galaxy phones, while Galaxy S12 exposes them better. But you would notice a lot of my shots, Galaxy A55 has better focus and details compared to the softer and focused Galaxy S22. There's nothing different on how I shoot the shots. I know people will comment that they have taken better shots on S22, but I've taken these two phones on the same condition, holding it steady. Looking at different sensors, you will notice that it's better exposed on the ultra wide in Galaxy A55. And if you go to the main sensor, there's more details and exposure on pitch black condition on the latest mid range compared to the older Galaxy S22. This is Samsung Galaxy S22 in 4K 24fps. The camera is a little bit punched in compared to S23 and S24 and sadly there's no 30fps. Here I will show you a little bit of the selfie. I don't know if you can see me but this is how punched in this phone is. What I like about this phone is the performance and the cameras. I think it's pretty good. The only waterloo of this phone is the battery life. It drains really fast and it's so small. And obviously like Samsung Galaxy A55, this also has the director's view or the dual video recording. So you can see front and back on this phone. Let's talk about flaring and looking on both the ultra wide wide and the zooms, both of them control the flaring better. In terms of highlights, if you zoom in on this image, you will notice that 855 blows up the highlights a little bit, while S22 controls it better. The biggest difference of Galaxy A55 is the macro sensor, you can take close up shots on this phone. Looking at the sharpness starting with the ultra wide, Galaxy S22 is superior than A55. On the main sensor, I should say it's almost the same. Obviously, you have a dedicated optical zoom on S22. And look at the farthest reach, Galaxy S22 has 30 times digital crop and the sharpness is also good. And lastly, details, looking at the 50 megapixel battle, it's almost the same for both phones. But if you shoot using the 12 megapixel JPEG, you would notice that there's more details on Galaxy S22. Starting with the zoom and stabilization test on less active movement walking, this is the ultra wide lens and Galaxy A55 is much bluer than S22. The transition is not as smooth on Galaxy A55. This is the main sensor and now A55 is a little bit warmer than S22 but the stabilization on both phones are really good. And this is the 2 times digital crop versus the 3 times optical zoom of S22. I think the quality is really good for both phones. Now this is the stabilization test on active movement and you would see that Galaxy A55 is a little bit jerky on the ultra wide lens compared to Galaxy S22. And same goes with the main sensor. Again, this is in 4K 30 FPS. If you look closely, A55 is a little bit wobbly compared to S22. Now checking the zoom, this is the two times digital crop of A55 and the optical zoom of S22. Obviously, S22 is a native zoom, but it is a little bit softer but more vivid compared to the crop of the mid-range A55. We are shooting using the selfie camera, again in 4K 30fps and you will notice that A55 is natural looking but a little bit softer than the competition while S22 is sharper and has a little bit of saturation to it. Now we're doing the slow motion test. We only have 720p on Galaxy A55 and Full HD or 1080p on Galaxy S22. And lastly, the low light video test. And like the photos, I think Galaxy A55 is better on the ultra wide and the main sensor. And even checking the optical zoom of S22, the digital crop of A55 is still better. 
I think overall, Galaxy S22 is still a solid choice in 2024. Obviously, you have the native 3x optical zoom on this phone that gives you more details. You have an 8K video recording, just a little bit zoomed in. And obviously, if you like more saturated photos, then this is the way to go. But I think the new Galaxy A55 is a really solid mid-range phone. It gives you natural looking photos, better low light performance, and still have 4K video recording. Not as big as 8K, but for the most vloggers and consumers, this is good enough.